CONCACAF last night went out and announced the 2021 Men's Player of the Year award to Canadian star and Bayern Munich left back, the best left back in the world and best player in CONCACAF in Alfonso Davies. The truly unbelievable player in a bright future, adding on to all these accolades already, winning the 2021 Men's Player of the Year award in CONCACAF. Truly outstanding, having a fantastic year. But arguably for me, I don't think Alfonso Davies should be winning this award. Yes, he had a tremendous year for Canada in World Cup qualifying and has done very well, but also missing half of the campaign and the biggest part of the campaign for Canada, and also before that, not playing his best football for Canada. Canada in some crucial games. Yes, he turned up against Panama and in some other games he played very well, but never hit his top peak. Yes, that ex is extremely scary to think Davies did not play at his highest level, but I do believe this should have went to someone else and it should have went to someone else in a red jersey, a Canadian, a number nine, the guy who broke the World Cup qualifying goal scoring record in Kyle Lahren. Kyle Lahren is a truly special striker and the reason I'm going to give you guys many reasons why I think this should have went to Kyle Lahren. But first and foremost, this was a year filled with the Gold Cup. In a fantastic Gold Cup tournament where you saw Canada go to the semifinals. Where you saw a very good Mexico team and a very good US men T team. And a very competitive World Cup qualifying where Canada started from the first spot possible. Right from the off with all of the teams in it. And Kyle Lahren was in the mix. He was in the Gold Cup carrying Canada to the semifinal. Yes, he did get injured, but he did score three goals in three appearances playing for Canada in the Gold Cup. In a very good Gold Cup where they got to the semifinals, scoring three goals and helping them get there. And also in World Cup qualifying, he was truly special. Having 16 matches, 12 starts, 13 goals, robbed of the 14th against Panama in the last match day in World Cup qualifying. Kyle Lahren was truly spectacular and truly brilliant. The 26-year-old from Besiktas was fantastic for Canada this year. And that is why I truly believe he should have won this award over Alfonso Davies. Yes, Alfonso Davies turned up with some amazing stats. And yes, he did tr play truly brilliant when playing with Canada. But like I said, he didn't hit his peak. He didn't play as good as we know he can. He did still have five goals and eight assists in qualifying, which did help Canada to the first World Cup since 1986. But I just don't believe he deserved this award. As you look at Kyle Lahren, who truly carried Canada in both competitions in the Gold Cup, where we went so far and should have arguably beat Mexico, and it was a very good and very quality game in the semifinals. And also Kyle Lahren, who is fantastic from the off in the World Cup qualifying as well. While Alfonso Davies didn't go to the Gold Cup, had to pull out due to an injury, and he was with the World Cup qualifying squad, yes, at the starting point with Kyle Lahren, but did go down to injury. And hasn't been with Canada. And it's been almost the important. It's been the big chunk. The important stretch for Canada. Where we've needed him. And he's been injured. So for me. I personally don't believe that. Alfonso was the best player in 2021. In the CONCACAF region. I think there was better in Kyle Aaron. I do believe Kyle Aaron was. Out and by far the best player in CONCACAF. And those stats surely show it. When you look at forwards like Christian Pulisic. The 23 year old from US Menti. Yes he did have a very good year. Or a up and down sort of year for the US Menti. Where I think he could have done better. And another guy who did not play in the Gold Cup in 2021. Which fair dues. But he did play in World Cup qualifying. Having 10 matches. 7 starts. Begging five goals, but you got to remember three of those did come against Costa Rica in that, in not against Costa Rica, but in that final match week in a very crucial game where they did win 5-1 against Panama. And there was a huge match for, for US men T where he did show up. He did play well. We got to remember two of those were penalties in a hat trick. So he did score three of his five goals on the last match day. So you just got to take some of that into perspective. And you have Raul Jimenez since after his skull injury has not been anywhere near the same in the Premier League. And especially for Mexico this year who didn't show up in a Gold Cup. And also only had three goals in nine appearances for Mexico. For me, there's some fantastic players in CONCACAF that we just don't look at. Like Tyler Adams. I think Tyler Adams is a special, special player. And has an amazing future. As well as Stefan Estacchio and Edson Alvarez. The defensive midfielders in this CONCACAF region are outstanding. But they're never going to get a look in as the CONCACAF player of the year. Which is unfortunate because I believe some of these guys were truly special in helping these teams 
go into the World Cup. But I do believe Alfonso Davies didn't deserve the CONCACAF Player of the Year. I think he was a special player, and of course we all know that. But I don't believe he had the year that deserves a CONCACAF Player of the Year. For me, that award kind of now shows me that it's a personality or a quota as you're the best player in the region, we're just going to give you the award. It's a big name kind of thing. It's a, oh look, Alfonso Davies is in the region, we're going to give him this award. Which, I don't think he deserved it, and I don't think they should have given it to him. I think they should have went with the smart route and given it to Kyle Lahren. The man who deserved it, the man who begged so many goals, 13 in World Cup qualifying, should have been 14, and also had 3 goals in the Gold Cup. He deserved it. For me, my CONCACAF Player of the Year goes to Kyle Lahren. Guys, let me know who you guys think should have won the CONCACAF Player of the Year. Whether that be Alfonso Davies, whether it's Kyle Lahren, or maybe it's Christian Pulisic or Tyler Adams or Raul Jimenez, or maybe Edson Alvarez. Let me know in the comments. Drop a comment down below. Love to hear from all my CONCACAF fans and fans from all around the world. Drop a comment. Make sure to hit that like button and hit that sub button. It means the absolute world to me, guys. And I really appreciate all of the positive comments on the channel and all the subs we're getting. It means the absolute world to me, guys. And I hope we can keep pushing on. Hit that sub button. Hit that like button. And drop a comment down below. And I'll see you for the next one. Peace.